cigar? No, thank you. Richie, does your father know you're here? We're going to the ball game together. Well, there's no sense in being the boss's son if you have to wait in the outer office. We'll base our operation in Casablanca, warehouse our supplies and rolling stock in Marrakesh. Please roll up your sleeve, Mr. McIntyre. Oh, Joe, there's a man named Emmering in Marseille. He's super on that Lafferty construction job. I want him off of it and on his way to Casablanca within seven days. I don't care whose leg you have to break to get it. How long will you be gone, Will? Five months, give or take a couple of weeks. Oh, okay, I'll take a look. Arrangements have all been made, Mr. McIntyre. A week from today, plane leaves at 5 p.m. Okay, fellas, I've got about a half a dozen panning salesmen in the waiting room. Hello, Richie, what can I do for you? We're going to the ball game, remember? Oh, you know what I forgot. Will, could you come here a minute? We got a problem, won't keep. Okay, Joe, I'll be with you in just a minute. We're going to lunch too, remember? Oh, that's right. Uh, Miss Clavenger, I want you to get my son two tickets to the ball game this afternoon. Have Marty drive him there and tell him to stay with him. I'll use cabs the rest of the day. He'll be right down. Richie, take a friend. Use my phone, call up one of the boys. You got enough money? Will? Oh, look, Richie, I've got to run. You're all set now. Have a good time. Are you leaving next week? I'll talk to you about that later. Now, I want you to get in there today and really root for those Indians, okay? Will? All right, Joe, all right. We have a snack bar on the boat. We get our food from the same supply kitchen this place does. So let me ask you something. Why can't you wait till we cast off and get the skipper off my back? Where's Murdoch? That's all he and I ever say to each other is, where's Murdoch? Come on, you can finish your ice cream on the way. Custard, you know I'm getting tired of going up the same river 10 times a day, the same trip. Why don't we ever go across the lake, over the horizon, just once? You know we've been going up that river for two months now. Style, Murdoch! See, he needs us. He loves us. Come on. Look, it's outdoor work. We're saving our money, and we're meeting interesting people. Shall I name you a few? Evelyn, Margaret, Betty, Janie, Evelyn. You mentioned her. We know two Evelyns. Well, that part of it is OK. But we're not growing doing the same thing every day. And that spielio's on the microphone. If I hear it once more, I think I'll flip. You know, I hear that in my sleep. I can say it backwards. I can say it. Sideways. So say it backwards. Let me hear you say it backwards. Erie Lake of Shore South Beyond. Long mile sturdy about is shoreline the. That's very good. Okay, all aboard. Watch your step. Richie! Richie McIntyre, back in line. Welcome aboard the Carol Diane Second. I must ask all passengers, please, to keep your hands and arms inside the boat. Do not place them on the outside rail. Why 
Now, be careful you don't break any of those things, because if you do, I'll knock you all in the head. <laughs> Cowboy, come on. Sit down. Come on. Richie. Richie, do what the man says. It's a character. <laughs> if you need any help, I'll uh, be right over there. Just ask for Buzz. Thank you. Miss Aubrey, the ice kid over there? Sure, honey, if you want to. Oh, wait. You didn't get one of these. Aubrey. It's a very pretty last name. What goes with it? Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay, Giles. Hi, Hi folks. folks. The tour is about to start. We'll show you some of the sights in this great port city of Cleveland, Ohio, and many of the industrial activities along the river. You better cast off, mister. Unless you plan to take the dock with us. You can sit right over here with Linda. And Linda, you put your jacket on now if you get cold. Hey, Johnny! You're gonna sit right here and you're gonna be good, huh? you either, huh? I mean the tour. All the other kids here are taking notes on that breakwater, how wide it is at the bottom and uh, how much cement they poured into it. All that jazz. I was just thinking, long ago, there must have been pirates in this river. What do you think? Well, I'd keep my eyes open. You wouldn't want to walk the plank, would you? <laughs> Next is a vertical lift bridge which belongs to the Big Four Railroad. If you'll notice, there's a scale on the side of the bridge which raises the bridge to a height of 100 feet to clear the mass of the large ship. Forward are two bridges side by side. One is a railroad bridge, the other is a street traffic bridge. See what happened. 
on, sailor. Let's go topside. I'll take him up to the captain's. inside the boat, wasn't it? You better get those wet clothes off. Him. Captain, he says he was pushed. Pushed, huh? I didn't see who did it. What's your name, boy? Richie McIntyre. You're not Willard McIntyre's boy. Yeah. You gonna call him? You bet I am. What's the number? I forgot. Forgot? WJ4131, the Carol Diane 2, calling WMI Lorraine. Channel 39. Thank you. Send your traffic, Carol Diane. Get me Cleveland information, please. Call on three, Mr. McIntyre. I told you to hold all calls. Better take this one. Yeah, what is it? He what? Is he hurt? Well, where is he now? All right, I'll have somebody on the pier to meet him. Get me Dr. Byron. Oh, Tom, call my driver. Tell him to get down to the 9th Street Pier and pick up my kid and bring him a change of clothes. Yes, sir. Yo. Hello, Bruce. My kid just took a header into the lake. Yeah. Listen, would you go over to the East 9th Street Pier and look him over for me? Right away. Okay, thanks. Trouble? Nothing serious. Well, what now? This special delivery letter just arrived, Mr. McIntyre. It's marked personal. Operator, get me the police. 